Hey kids. It's Tuesday. I didn't document anything yesterday. I had a pretty good professional day, like a work day. Um, but I've been having a hard time uploading um, my videos to YouTube. So a makeup video that I filmed last week and a vlog video that I filmed, um, I have not been able to download them. It's not working. So that's a little bit frustrating. I did get one of the videos to work, but I had to strip all the music from it, which was kind of annoying, but it's whatever. Okay, you wanna be held? Okay, you wanna be in the mix? We'll say hello. Say hello. It's another week with me and this kid. Yeah, this sounds really crazy and dumb, but I hate when people assume Chloe is a boy. It doesn't matter what I dress her in, they always assume she's a boy. And I'm like, it doesn't take much to just kind of like look and see if she has a little dick or not. And I feel like because she's my dog, she'd have big dick energy. Like, we have big dick energy. If she had a dick, it'd be ginormous. It'd be dragging the floor. But she's a girl. Right. Today I'm in my closet. I do not have a lot of clothes, admittedly. I'm somewhat of a, minimal of a minimalist somewhat of a minimalist, but I am going through and doing a purge so I can donate some things. I tend to get rid of things like every um, 90 days, but I have some things that I'm getting rid of and I'll be donating to an organization this weekend. So yeah. <music> every time I go through my closet which I like to have 30 60 90 day rules on keeping things I'm a big purger um, I don't like a lot of junk a lot of clutter even though if you were to see my home you might think it might be organized clutter but I really am a mix of my parents my dad is like a neat freak germaphobe minimalist and my mom is a pack rat and a hoarder and I somehow have been like merged in between the two but I don't like keeping things longer than I need them. But what happens is when I go through these phases, you know, cause like 90 days, that's a season. So once a quarter, I try to go through my closet. But then what happens is I end up trying some things on because like I'll forget about something. And then it's like, hmm, does she fit? And now there's a lot of things that I probably, while I have not worn them in a while because some things have tags on them and I'm big on it. Even if it has tags on it, it can go. But some of them, I'm curious because your girl is down 20 pounds. So I feel like I might need to pause and try some things on and reassess what she's going to get rid of. I'm about to go to a little wind down Wednesday with some friends and chill. Mind your business. We are all vaccinated. So they're part of my backpack. Um, and I'm actually going to bring Chloe with me if she gets from under this fucking couch. Cause you have something. Mm. The hot now sign was on. So I had to stop. There's really nothing like fresh off the grease. Krispy Kreme donuts. It is a childhood thing for me. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I'm finding that the older I get and the closer I get to 40, I'm really enjoying bringing things back from my childhood that bring me joy. And Krispy Kreme donuts are one of those things. 
we would go after dinner on Sundays. We would leave from Waldorf, go across, go across the Woodrow Wilson Bridge, go to the girl, shut the fuck up, go to Krispy Kreme in Alexandria, and watch them make the donuts. And it was everything as a child. It was to the point like they knew us as a family and we would get two baker's dozens. They would give us baker's dozens because we were always there. And we would polish off a dozen before we even made it to the bridge and then save another dozen for when we got home. That was my life. Also, people who honk five cars back as soon as the light turns green girl fuck you like people run red lights every day it's raining ain't nobody fitting to die for your ass pump your brakes literally calm your tits and wait like that shit blows the entire fuck out of me i also don't know how often i would be vlogging while driving and not necessarily from a safety aspect but just from the aspect of I generally am not speaking when I'm in the car girl I am having a whole motherfucking concert ain't too many quiet thoughts or chatting while I'm driving so unless I'm like on my way to like specifically doing something like I don't know girl I want to go put my waist trainer on which now has my tits in my throat and now I need to put on my back brace. I'm sure you've seen this combo in other videos but um, I know I've mentioned like that I, <clears throat> that I go to the chiropractor in other vlogs but I haven't necessarily mentioned why and that is because I found out back in November. I found out back in November that I have scoliosis and I now have to wear a back brace. And I'm supposed to be wearing it eight hours a day because I was not wearing it the four hours a day that I was supposed to and my back was regressing and I've been having issues. So I have to wear this brace it goes, has little rods in it, and it goes up all the way up to my neck. And it is to keep my little crooked spine straight. So if I didn't have this on, you may or may not see my left shoulder kind of sloops down compared to my right shoulder. So I have to be in the brace and kind of straighten it out. So I get in the brace and I straighten my shoulders out. And then I gotta sit up straight for eight hours. I'm supposed to be sitting at a desk because I have to have, I'm supposed to have a special chair. My feet are supposed to touch the floor. My feet cannot dangle off the floor. I'm supposed to be, have a chair that goes all the way up to my neck and I did not order one yet. So I'm just sitting on the edge of my couch. I do have my desk, but it's kind of set up for makeup filming right now. So maybe I'll transition over there later, but my chair doesn't have a back that's high enough for me to work from. And I don't want a standing desk. I actually don't want to stand, but yeah. So the only thing about wearing the back brace is contrary to what many people think yes i do go to the chiropractor and get adjustments he does adjust my spine um but i am a i'm a public health nerd i have to take anatomy and physiology one and two i'm very obsessed about those things and every bone in your body is supported by a muscle so if you go and you just get an adjustment with a chiropractor, yes, you have relief in that moment, but you have not then been exercising and building up the muscles that actually support the bone that you were trying to correct. So with it being my spine, 
there are a lot of exercises that I have to do to then um, strengthen and recondition the muscles that support the areas of my spine that are lacking. And your spine pretty much is all core exercises. So I was like, oh, so it took me having a cricket back for me to get abs. Because that's what's happening. So, and that's why I say now that I've been cleared to lift because there was a point there was a point I wasn't cleared to lift yet, which is actually what sent me to the chiropractor in the first place. I went back to the gym for the first time in a long time one day, and then I was in a lot of pain afterwards. And I was like, you know what? I don't wanna make anything worse let me go get a consult from a chiropractor and i talked to him through some things and then he was like oh yeah he was like sounds like you have scoliosis and he was like stand on the wall take your shirt off face the wall let me see and he looked he was like oh yeah you have scoliosis i can see it right in your shoulders and i was like damn so i've been wondering why i wear this brace and it's not an expensive brace at all um i can link it down below i got it um you can get it off of amazon for like less than 20 dollars. this one in particular um a girlfriend of mine picked up out on her travels you know she just sent me a picture she was like yo is this what you need and she found it in marshall's or tj maxx for like 15 dollars or something but i did find one pretty much exactly like this on amazon less than 20 bucks and it does make me sit straighter it does but because my muscles are now not used to being in that position it can be painful so if you need a back brace, um, I do just wanna let you know that, yeah, it helps, but it's not going to be easy. the sun is actually trying to come out now but still waiting for my period to start I think she's gonna rear her ugly head today um, but I don't want to manifest a bad period so hopefully it'll be okay but between my energy being low and it kind of being crappy outside I ordered some pho if you're not familiar pho is a Vietnamese um, noodle dish soup situation and it is pronounced pho not pho and it's just so comforting and I was always tell my friends like if it's if it don't make your nose run because it's so spicy or making it spicy then it ain't good and it's just so simple it's a bone broth some rice noodles cilantro bean sprouts jalapenos Put in some sriracha, a meat of your choice. I don't do the basil or the hoisin sauce, um, but I do add the twist of lime. It's just so good. Terrible thing is I realized how much I've been spending on pho. Mm. from ordering it, because there isn't a pho spot near me, or if there is, they don't deliver. So I have to spend a little bit extra. Between ordering delivery fee, service fees, and tipping, I'm spending like 30 or $40 every time I order pho. <sighs> My drone wallet. But when I went to go cleaned the kitchen and I went in the cabinet and I saw all the containers that I have accumulated from ordering pho. It's pretty um, embarrassed slash disgusted with myself. 
but it's so good. I did get beef put in mine. I know I've been screaming about not eating a lot of meat. But I didn't care today. I don't want to ever deprive myself of something. I think that causes you to binge. Pretty much eating what I want when I want it. So I guess I should call myself a flexitarian and not a pescatarian. Child, you know there's a word for fucking everything. So flexitarian is a new thing and I guess that's what I am. Just got some packages and I don't know what's in here. I don't recall ordering anything. Let's see. Oh, this is from First Aid Beauty. It's the Bump Eraser Body Scrub. So it's got 10% AHA. And um, yeah, I have like some, I don't know what I did to myself, but I've been trying to smooth out my skin. And I did a little bit with some glycolic acid uh, peel pads that were meant for my face, but I was using them on my chest and my arms. So, ooh, yay. I'm interested to, I hope this works. Yeah, I can't wait to start using this. Mm -hmm. see what else we got this is Amazon packaging but I didn't make any Amazon orders maybe I need to check did I order something in my sleep again because I haven't been drinking what is this this oh these are some prints for my bathroom Ooh, I got this one I really like this one. Oh, these are nice Oh, yay. This is cute too. So I'm doing like a whole kind of like boho spa situation in my bathroom. Oh yeah, these are cute. This one's going up for sure, me. And then I think I'm gonna do this one too. But I gotta figure these out. Oh yay. That's exciting. I'm gonna figure out frames to put them in. Now this last box, I don't know what the hell this is. And it feels kind of heavy. Oh, there is. Oh, snap. Oh, okay. So this big box is a whole at home waxing set. I told the brand that I would try it out, but they never confirmed if they were sending it or not. So now I have everything. I don't know what I'm gonna wax. Maybe like my arms or my legs later. Ooh. Oh, wow. Well, there we have it. Yeah, can you get off mommy's couch like a cat? Cat dog? I'm not exactly sure, like I'm gonna have to, clearly like I'll do like an unboxing and that will go on social media. Let them know that I received the product. Um, and then kind of strategize around what other content I'll make between Reels, TikTok, uh, YouTube videos, blog posts, all those things. So, exciting.
You want to play? Come on. It never fails. As soon as I sit down to film, you want to get picked up. Just say hello. I'm going to play in some makeup today and I'm finally going to try out the Fenty Beauty. This is the Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I got the color 340. Really, Chloe? I'm struggling to find the right color still, but I'm um, gonna play in some makeup, record a kind of like chit chat, get ready with me, and let's see how that goes. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day. I think one of my friends is coming over, gonna chill and shoot the shit and smoke some hookah. But yeah. You just gonna sit there and stare at me while I record? It's really creepy when you do this. I had done my face um, to record something else and in the midst of my recording I got some really really amazing news and I'm like very very excited about it back in January I did a photo shoot um, some good girlfriends of mine they were starting like a creative group the collective where they wanted to provide you know like some creative directing services for creatives hair, makeup, set design, styling, all of those things. <clears throat> and they chose me as like their first subject and project um, for their company. And I literally had nothing to do with any of it. I did not pick hair, wardrobe, makeup, set design, the storyline, none of that. I literally just showed up I had a little bit of say in the photographer that they chose, but, and it was a really, really amazing shoot. I pushed outside of myself. Um, I did some really sickening and amazing looks. And the photographer, she mentioned while we were on set that she was gonna be um, submitting some of the photos, <clears throat> which is why part of me couldn't I was hesitant to post certain things because they were like some things if we want to submit them to somewhere else like I apparently like I wasn't supposed to like post them on my social media or anything first so I was really hesitant to post a lot of things from the shoot but I found out today okay well let me back up so yesterday Saweetie came out with a new playlist for the summer pretty girl playlist for the summer and I didn't listen to it yesterday and I was listening to it today in the shower right before I sat down to film and you know she's popping talking her shit and she was talking about being you know the price went up because she's being featured in Vogue and I'm in the shower you know hitting my nooks and crannies and I'm like that's a bar and I was like mm, that'd be nice that's the goal you know maybe one day but then immediately thinking like why would I ever be in Vogue and I was like but you know I was like it's still a cunty line so I'ma put a little montage clip together with pics and videos from the shoot, and I'ma let that bar ride. I get out the shower, I get dressed, I'm doing my thing, and then I find out the photographer, when she said she was submitting things, I didn't, girl, I didn't know where she was submitting them to. Bitch, my photo, a photo with me in it, being stunty and cunty, was handpicked by editors of Vogue and put on Vogue Italia. Bitch, that's me. And I have just been honestly holding back tears the last couple of hours because for, for a multitude of reasons. But bitch, I'm in a photo that's on Vogue Italia. The price went up. I am just beside myself. I saw something yesterday that Maya Elias said, and she said, 
God trusts me and that's what scares me. And I felt that. Like there's, there's times that you know that you have an assignment. And I think it's like beyond imposter syndrome. When you know you have an assignment that's been given to you and you know it's been given to you because God trusts you. But then that's scary like, yo, Sky's daddy trusts me with this, with this assignment. It's just like, am I gonna fuck it up? Am I gonna waste it? If I do waste it, like is God mad at me? Like, there's so many things that go through my mind. And no, I'm not saying this to be like, I'm supposed to be like some model or anything. Child, no. A model, she is not. Um, she just shows up and performs and does the most. I don't think I'm a model by any means. However, I think just, I do think my assignment is to continually put myself forward and in front. And that can be scary because yeah, I'm vlogging, but I am still like private. I don't have a problem with you all getting to know pieces of me, but there is still just something about me. Like I like to keep certain things to myself, but I do think part of my assignment is sharing my journey and my testimony throughout things and moments. And you know, those little full circle moments that happen, they happen because amazing things happen just to one, let you know that things are possible. And two, God intentionally does amazing things to where like, they have to know it was him. And I love those moments. I really love those, those moments where it's like, girl, how? And I'm like, girl, I know it wasn't me. Yes, we show up and we do things and we're present in the moment, but Guys, daddy be doing it and I just want to continue to reap the benefit and the blessing of fully showing up and being me and I just kind of had to come and share that and I am just so grateful to Kia and Tania and Kizzy and Retta and Devin and Shayla and Maeva and everyone who helped out on set that day. It was just absolutely amazing. We did, we shot like seven hours. We were in a warehouse. They turned an empty warehouse into five different scenes. And the pictures that we got out of those were just absolutely amazing i did have a whole moment where i bust out crying on set and i'm just grateful i'm just grateful and i'm grateful that when i got the news my face was beat for filth girl don't cry chloe give up his beat but um yeah i feel like i have other things to film what else I'm going to film, I'm not exactly sure. Or I might just relax. I don't know. But I'm just so full and overjoyed. And I thought I was having a brad brow day, but they're kind of giving something at the moment. But my jaw hurts from smiling. <laughs> I'm happy. Happy Sunday, kid. I'm in Vogue Italia. I don't have time to play with you anymore. We need to find a dog walker or something.